Project Zero is a platform for scripting and running dynamic web applications. You can do this with visual editing or in fully programmatic ways. Today I'm going to use the visual tooling to demonstrate extending the well-known PHP application SugarCRM. I chose to use mainly the visual composition tools for this demonstration because I think that the flow tooling being visual fits very nicely with the ethos of Sugar CRM which is to allow quite profound customization of the application without writing code. In addition to the programming APIs which can be used to create the extension points we need. The business scenario is that the enterprise is using Sugar CRM and want to drive a simple workflow when a meeting is created. They need to inform security and add the meeting participants to the gatehouse list so that they can be allowed onto the site and they need to inform catering so that the refreshments can be laid on. Once all of this has been arranged they want to update the record in Sugar CRM. The scenario makes use of the business logic hooks in Sugar CRM. These allow a PHP script to be called when defined records in Sugar CRM are manipulated in defined ways. In this case, we've chosen to hook in to the saving of a new meeting. This is the web browser based IDE. It's still in development, but it's already pretty capable. Let's use it to start the applications. First, we'll start Sugar CRM. We'll do that by pressing this button here, and then we see the application begin to start. Sugar CRM is now running on the PHP uh, interpreter that's built uh, within Project Zero and the IDE brings up a new web browser window which will show us the login page on Sugar CRM. Let's log into Sugar CRM on the login page. And here we are on the Sugar CRM homepage. As you can see, it's running on port 8073 under the interpreter and project zero. Let's go back to the IDE. Let's now start the assemble flow samples project. This is where I've built the uh, visual flow that we're going to be using in this uh, demonstration. As I mentioned earlier, Sugar CRM has business logic hooks which allow us to, to have a piece of PHP code invoked when certain activities occur on certain objects in Sugar CRM. Let's now go and look at the piece of PHP code that will be invoked when a meeting is created in Sugar CRM. I've created the script inside the Sugar integration project in the IDE. So let's click on the edit button to edit that application. This is the application editor. Now let's click on the file. This snippet of code simply extracts the uh, relevant pieces of information that we need in order for this scenario to run from the uh, sugar bean uh, objects inside Sugar CRM and it posts them into a RESTful web service which is implemented by the uh, flow which we'll see in a moment. Noticed at the bottom that it uses the connection post um, uh, PHP uh, function to uh, perform that uh, action. That connection post is actually implemented in Java so this is a direct call out from PHP into Java. It's posting the uh, information as a JSON encoded object to the URL where the flow is implemented. This is the Project Zero flow that will be invoked when a meeting is saved in Sugar CRM. At the top here, we see the meeting received activity. This is an instance of a receive reply post activity. What this does is it receives the packet of information that was created by the snippet of code that we've just seen, encoded in JSON format, and uh, it will reply. Uh, actually with a, a null uh, empty reply to Sugar CRM. This data is then provided to each of these activities, the security, catering and admin web UI activities. Each of these implements a simple email and reply via uh, web form activity and we'll see how that works in a moment. Once each of these activities 
has occurred, the final stage in the workflow is a reply back to Sugar CRM to indicate that the, the completed workflow has occurred. This provides a PUT request. The URL to which the HTT PUT uh, operation will occur is specified here and we can see that this is actually a RESTful web service. The URL localhost 8081 CRM meeting is the base for a RESTful web service and then we supply the ID of the particular meeting that we want to update. This ID came in to the flow in the in the data that was posted uh, originally to the to the flow and uh, it's specified as the ID in that uh, data. The data that we write to this RESTful web service is simply the description that the meeting has been approved. So what we're doing is we're updating the meeting to say that it's been uh, approved and we're just going to add that to the uh, or replace the description with that text. In a real scenario we probably would have created an explicit uh, field to receive this data but I wanted to make the demo simple and not require further customization of Sugar CRM. It turns out that Sugar CRM doesn't actually have a REST interface. It provides SOAP interfaces. But that's no problem because Project Zero implements a REST to SOAP layer and that's actually how we've implemented this RESTful web service. So the put at the end of the workflow will actually put into a RESTful web service that's implemented by the REST to SOAP layer in Project Zero uh, and, the pro and that REST to SOAP layer will interact with the SOAP interface in Sugar CRM. Let's now schedule the meeting that we want to trigger the uh, flow from within Sugar CRM. Click on Schedule a Meeting, and then we start to fill in the details for the meeting. Now we'll save the meeting and this will trigger the workflow. When we saved the meeting, that first web UI activity that we saw will have sent an email to the address that was filled into it. Let's open an email client and look at that email. And here we can see the request that in reality would have gone to the security team and it's pointing to the link to a uh, form which is actually being served out of the flow that we saw. So this form is a very simple form that was actually implemented in PHP and it's pulled some details out of the uh, packet of JSON encoded data and it's displaying them here and it's asking me to approve or deny the meeting request. If I was to push deny that would post data back to the uh, meeting uh, flow and that would prevent it from continuing and, and no further activity would occur in the flow. Uh, but I'm going to push approve and that will activate the next stage in the flow which if you recall was the uh, request to uh, the catering team. So let's go back to the email client, refresh and we can see that we now have a request to provide cookies for the meeting and that also contains a, another link. Follow that link and this is the, the request to the catering team. I'll OK that and that will have activated the uh, next web UI activity so uh, that was a request to the uh, administrator just to uh, tell them that the meeting had been set up make sure the room's ready and everything so likewise another web form slightly different uh, and when we confirm this uh, stage in the process the um, final put activity will occur which will update the meeting in Sugar CRM which will Click on OK. If you now refresh the contents of the meeting, we see currently the description says to discuss the demo. And as I said, uh, uh, for simplicity, I've arranged for the flow just to update the description text. So it will change. I'll refresh, and you can see it's now saying that the meeting has been approved. So that's been achieved by just putting back to that um, RESTful web service that I provided on top of the um, on top of the SOAP interface that Sugar CRM has.